Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at single stack 9mm handguns that were released this year in 2019. We have 8 handguns here, so let's get to it. We knew Glock would come out strong in 2019 and they did with the Glock 43X. They took the popular subcompact Glock 43, extended the grip for three finger contact which allows more control over the handgun, but more importantly, 10 rounds in the magazine opposed to six from the Glock 43. PVD coated slide, it's a silverish finish. They now make it in black, front serrations, same upper slide as the original Glock 43 with Glock sights, a Glock trigger that we have come to know and get used to and feel confident with. Aftermarket support has been strong as well. Here's a Vetter holster. The color is blood red. Snaps in there like a glove. Very nice setup and also a magazine pouch also in blood red from Vetter. Other companies that are making aftermarket products for Glock which Glock has always had strong aftermarket support and this 43X is no different. Very reliable, very accurate and an excellent reputation, a great addition to Glock handguns. Narrow Arms entered the market with their N1 in 2019, and it has people turning heads. 3.1 inch barrel, a branded red aluminum trigger, and it carries seven rounds in the magazine. Three dot sights that are Glock interchangeable and a Picatinny rail. Unloaded just under 17 ounces and the slide action is like glass. But it is a double action only trigger and what makes this unique is that it is hammer fired. Which sets it apart a little bit different than many of the other guns that we are featuring today. But here it is and it does come to a full reset good for pocket carry nice lightweight addition a lot of people interested in the narrow arms n1 it shoots very nice very accurate and i find it to be a welcome addition to the subcompact nine millimeter class here is the car pm9 covert car arms make some of the smallest and lightest Handguns in the market, they are accurate, reliable, and made with high-end parts. Now, the Covert uses the same upper slide as the original Car PM9. With a 3.1-inch barrel, it does come standard with night sights. And it is very small and lightweight with eight rounds. That's seven in the magazine and one in the chamber. It's weighing in at 20 and a half ounces. The lower unit is the same as the Car P9. So it offers three finger contact on the grip and it has the same double action trigger pull that we're used to. It breaks between six and a half and seven pounds. Very nice shooting gun. I shoot cars extremely well. I enjoy carrying them. They are very fine handguns. This car PM9 is a winner. I love it and it's a great addition to their lineup of CCW handguns. Earlier this year, Smith & Wesson increased the M&P line by offering Performance Center Shields 2.0. Some have ported slides and barrels. Some are optic cut with night sights. The one featured here has a 4-inch barrel, high-vis fiber optic front and rear sights, and they all have the 2.0 grip, which is more aggressive. They all use an 8- and 7-round magazines, which are consistent with the original m and shields so they have the same grip length the same hinged trigger with the same trigger weight and loaded this model weighs in at 26 ounces with eight rounds many people feel comfortable with the shield line this just adds to the options available from smith and wesson i think the kimber evo sp is a beautiful handgun this model replaced the kimber solo it has an aluminum frame with interchangeable grips and back straps to custom fit the shooter's hand size. Comes with two seven round magazines, has a nice trigger with a trigger bar safety in there that breaks right around six and a half pounds. And here is the reset right there for the follow up shots. It also has night sights, tritium night sights, standard with this model, a striker fire indicator that goes away when the slide has not been charged, and front serrations. Good looking gun, nice functioning gun. It's 
a Kimber, so it looks beautiful, but it also works great at the range. Very accurate, three point one inch barrel. Nice overall look and feel to it. Kimber said they got it right this time, and I have to agree. The smallest and lightest handgun that I'm featuring in this review is right here, the Diamondback DB9 Gen 4. It weighs just 16 and a half ounces, loaded with seven rounds, and the slide width is only 0.81 inches wide. Very small. Very lightweight, made for pocket carry. The Gen 4 has some improvements worth discussing. Here is a six-round magazine, but the grip texturing has changed. It, it's nice. Feels really nice. Good grip on the gun. It also has a slide lock, which the slide will lock back on the last round. It is plus P rated. All right, Glock interchangeable sights with an orange front dot, but what they really improved on is the trigger. Now, it is a bit heavier, it's seven and a half pounds with the initial pull, but right here is the greatest improvement with the reset. All right, good for follow-up shots. Three inch barrel, nice shooting gun, very lightweight. You know, it'll kick you back a little bit because it's so light, but if you're looking for deep concealment, the DB9 Gen 4 would be a nice choice. In 2019, Mossberg released their first handgun in a hundred years, and they called it the MC1 Subcompact. Same size as the original Glock 43 with a 3.4 inch barrel. Very nice grip texturing. Feels great in the hand. Comes with two magazines, a 6 and a 7 round mag. Front serrations, three dot sights. But what I really like is the flat face trigger. It has a trigger bar safety in there, and it is very audible here is the reset right there for the follow-up shots it has a unique disassemble process you remove this back plate and remove the striker unit to disassemble the gun they call it a safe disassemble process and it is many people love this gun they say it has longevity it's been around for over six months now and the people who own them absolutely love the mc1 subcompact in 2019, Beretta replaced their Nano with the APX Carry. It has a 3-inch barrel, slide serrations that run across the entire slide, consistent with the APX line, a single-stack, very thin 9mm handgun with an 8 right here, and a 6-round magazine that has a flat base plate. It's a modular gun. You can see the serial number is on the internal chassis, so Beretta has additional frames that you can switch out. The trigger... I measure right at six pounds. It's a double action only trigger. Nice overall feel to it. Does have a front dot, blacked out rear sights. And at the range, it performs just fine. Just like a Beretta APX, but a thinner and lighter model. I think Beretta will do well with the APX carry. So there they are. Eight single stack 9mm handguns that were released in 2019. Let me know what you think, which ones you like which ones you don't like and which ones that you'll end up picking up because you cannot live without. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.